Oh, I'm saying. What up, world? Oh, some quicks is a lot of y'all have a, don't have no comprehension. My brother died. I called Jai to call my little nephew because my nephew want to be just like him. Jai called him, showed him some love. I want him to be like Jai, but I don't want my little nephew to be holding guns and thinking holding guns is cool. So Jai deserves all the punishment he's, he's going to get, all that. He has to be held accountable. But we have to make it make sense. ESPN, and, and it was a couple games where the Memphis Grizzlies was coming out, and they playing these same songs, making the gun signs to the camera and marching out, getting ready to go play that game, and it was all cool. The NBA, every event, you have these same rappers rapping these same lyrics about guns and shooting at all your events. Just make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Yes, John need to be held accountable. Holding guns and all that is not cool. I don't do it. I don't stand for it. I don't, I don't su support it. But at the same time, make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Steven Jackson speaking out once again on everything that's going on online with John Morant since the video had went viral Sunday of him being caught flashing a gun again online. Now, in the beginning, the first time it happened a couple months ago, Steven Jackson was vocal about, hey man, we all made mistakes. I was young in the league, a lot of other players also, and if the internet would have been around for us, we would have been crashing out and doing wild stuff too. Cut John Morant some slack. But once this video went viral Sunday, Steven Jackson came out and spoke again and said, hey, I can't stand with this. This is basically some dumb behavior and he is crashing himself out in other words. Hey, he tripping for real, for real. Well, a lot of people came with that same concept and saying the same thing, which John Morant actually put out a statement last night. But Steven Jackson woke up today and put up a picture of Chris Kamen right here. And this right here started to backlash and if you don't know who Chris Kamen is, he used to hoop, came in with the Clippers, if I'm not mistaken, played for a few teams, eventually retired, I think like 2016, 15, something like that. And he put this caption with it saying, it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. Wrong is wrong, but hey, if you're 23 rich and black, you dead wrong. And that right there changed it into a different conversation where people are like, what side are you on? And that's when he came with that video in the beginning saying what he said about where the NBA has these players coming out, listening to rap music. What are they doing? What message y'all really trying to send? We got gunshots playing th during the warmups and things of that nature. So John Morant can't listen to this music, but make it make sense. And then he put this part in the caption. Might go over y'all heads with this one. Wrong is wrong no matter how you look at it. If it's making us money, it's not wrong. If it hurts our pockets, it's dead wrong. And I guess what Steven Jackson is trying to point out is that NBA will associate themselves with rap, the streets, the trenches, the drill, the urban culture to bring out rappers to perform at halftime or walk players out even at certain events and you hear the music during the breaks while they warming up and everything like that. He's saying, hey bro, with the NBA, if y'all gonna play this type of music, what's going on where y'all can make money to y'all benefit when it's gonna be a problem for an NBA player to be associated with it? If you gonna rock with it a little bit, it rock with it all the way. I agree with Steven Jackson to a certain extent. I think it does need to be acknowledged how important niggas and the black and urban and street culture is and influential to the NBA and that has to go with the different guideline of discussion. This don't go together with the John Morant conversation though. True, the NBA has benefited from, profited off of, and used the influence of the rap, hip hop, street, urban and black community. I mean, look at it. Without the black players in the NBA, you have no NBA. The tickets don't sell the same. The faces of the NBA are black at this point in time. There's no denying that. And I don't think you have an NBA as current day stands if you was to take all the niggas out of it. It is what it is. But with John Morant, these two don't need to be in the same conversation. Because Chris came in holding the guns, as I said before, he's holding it up like, hey, I rock with guns, I'm a gun collector, and things of that nature. This is the presentation of that. And then it's not about what you do, it's how you do it. 
Ja Morant has multiple incidents where he's had issues with guns. We saw just a couple months ago in the strip club with his shirt off, turned up, seeming like he was a little bit intoxicated. I don't know, but I can't diagnose him through the camera, but he looking like he was out of his mind holding the gun up. It's very different than you being inside of a spot, a resident or something like that, holding a gun out in public, especially when you're on a road game, all these things on top of the other incidents that happened prior. The rumor of the actual red beams that got pointed from the car that he was supposed to be a part of, that's a gun incident. On top of him fighting somebody at his crib, a teenager, where allegedly a gun was supposed to come out in that. So this ain't just like, hey, this your first offense with this, and nigga, you tripped out. Nah, this is your third or fourth time is why it's coming down on John Morant like this. And to keep it a thousand, we know what type of energy come with flashing your gun, bro. Let's quit playing dumb out here. We know that's creating that energy about yourself the way you do it. If you showing your guns like, hey, nigga, I be hunting or I'm just a gun collector, niggas is looking at it like, hold on, bro. You just rocking with guns. Niggas look at that like whatever. But if you turned up with the gun, listen to street music, trap music, NBA young boy getting in 4K trade mode, niggas going to look like, hey, bro, this nigga think he a gangster. That's when niggas going to start questioning your resume. Where he from? What type of work he put in? Hold on, both your parents was in the home. The NBA don't want that type of representation because of what already has happened with them. Other than that, it is what it is, bro. Tell me what y'all think. I get what Steven Jackson trying to say, but I don't think this is a good comparison at all. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.